Hi, and welcome to Cooking in the Kitchen with Boom Chang Records, DC Coast to Coast. Fantastic week. Can't wait for you to hear these guys. Martin Stevenson, Jim Hornsby have joined us in the kitchen this morning. Going to play some fantastic songs. How are you doing, guys? Hello. Oh, nice Hi. Hey. Hi, so pleased for you to come in. Have you just travelled down the day? No, yesterday. In Venice yesterday, and I, I stopped in Coalbridge last night, so I got the bus in the day from you Coalbridge. You got the bus? It took three hours. Hey, <laughs> it's not bad. The weather's been a bit interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so... Tell us a little bit about you, Martin, because you're from the North East originally, aren't you? I'm Washington. Same right. street as Brian Ferry. Really? I, I, I never got his gold dust, though. It didn't <laughs> rub off. No. I was a bus guest. I was a, I was a table tennis player, and then I had a spiritual awakening. Did you really? <laughs> I've become a busker. Uh, uh-huh. And uh, I, I, oh, I've just had a, I've had a nice journey with music. I, did, uh, I went through the industrial side of it, and it wasn't yeah. really good for me. It wasn't good for me health, and I didn't like it. Yeah. But as I'm getting older, I'm a bit like Jim. I'm, I'm enjoying it as I'm getting older, and because the things you do make more sense. And I mean, Jim's having a renaissance. He's like, <laughs> that's right. He's like the king of Facebook and everything. He's well, like, well, Jim's been doing practicing dobro for thirty years, and now it's coming into fruition. I think he's the only dobro player in the northeast, isn't he? If he ever moans to me, I'll stop him and say, Jim, you're having an amazing life. He's, yeah. got, he's, a, he's a great musician. People love him. He, yeah. Everywhere he goes, he has great. Time. It is good crack, isn't it? Can you talk to us a little bit about, OK, you came from a busker. Can we talk a little bit about the yeah. industrial side? I mean, yeah. industrial side, it's yeah. the record labels, the record companies. and yeah, You had a little bit of success, thing, yeah. and was it a good time for you? Well, How did it work out? I know some, you said it was a bit of a challenge. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I probably made it a harder time than it could have been. It just depends what you like as a human being. I, I, didn't, I, I was aware of... Cocoonment and how human beings cocoon each other right. to see the possibility of a living out. So there's this vampirical experience. The experience. Some people love it, you know. Uh-huh. Some people are born for it. But for me, I clocked it, and it was. I was always in resistance, you know. I'd always say no to things. Yeah. Uh, you know, even when I was in the record company and the other lads in the band were helping themselves to records, I was like, no. Oh, right. And it was always respect women. Mm. You know, it's not. I, I wasn't a very cool rock and roller. I mean, when I was in the hotel, instead of throwing the telly out the window, yes. I'd get a can of Mr. Sheen, give the room the once over. Really? I mean, when you care, you care. You know, you, you, you yeah. It's like having brake pads on the car. You you can't go banging into people if you care. That's right. I mean, people used to say to me, "Oh, when you were travelling as a tour musician, did you wreck hotels?" And I said, "No, we used to go in and fix the telly." Fix the telly. That's yeah, it. That's <laughs> how it works. <laughs> so your band, Martin Stevenson and the Dandies. You wrote a lot of songs in that period? I did. I mean, I, st- I stumbled into writing as a... I mean, I'm a guitar fan. That's why I always try to promote the guitar yeah. with what I do. And, and when you have a chance to sit with like, someone like Jim, who's uh-huh. a, he's a master, he's a beautiful player, you know, yeah. but a lovely guy. So that's a massive thing for he's me. He's a bit of cool, well, <laughs> he, can re- he can reach me from here, so you... <laughs> I'm flat, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm a guitar fan, and I started trying to learn to play guitar, and I stumbled into being a songwriter. I would get a song like Rain from it. I'd get a classical guitar book, and I'd get Exercise 4 uh-huh. and give up and put the kettle on. And it's that period of putting the kettle on, I'd write a song. So a lot of my songs come from guitar exercises right. that I feel, you know, which is a bit quirky. That's brilliant. Well, I'll tell you what. I had a request. I told somebody you were coming on the show today, and I said, will you please get them to play Rain? Aye, aye. Would you fancy doing that? Because yeah. you just mentioned it, it would be great if you could. This is, Jim's the only person that ever plays rain with us. Really? Because you know, it's a little bit like, uh, you know, uh, if there's ice on a pond uh-huh. and it's starting to melt, it's really thin. Uh-huh. It, like, Jim's got a, a very light touch. He's a, uh, he's a, he's a fantastic accompanist and he, he never No ever, pressure then. <laughs> <laughs> he never puts his big boots on and breaks oh, the ice, excellent. you know. Uh, you can tr- what do you notice you play with him? You can yeah, trust yeah. him, he's, he's enlightened there, uh, you know. All right, then. I'll well, look over here. Right. Right. See, that's off the exercise. That's exercise four. Is Seconds the gap, a warm 
candle glow keeps this wood room from black. My cat, she sleeps on an old clippy mat. Remember them pouring out echoes of faint pitter pat as the rain pours down in the yard. Rain, a most haunting sound. Rain makes beautiful music, and rain brings peace upon. All whom it The old subconscious and I are back on speaking terms. She is sending her colors and her beautiful words. And far, far we are the heart of city folk. I'm surrounded by country. Surrounded by night As the rain Pours down In the yard Rain A most haunting sound Rain Makes beautiful music And rain Brings peace upon All whom it falls a great face, you. Oh, got, got a really kind <laughs> face, isn't he? I wouldn't like the Nicky Yorkshire pudding off your plate. <laughs> through a crack in the window, meanders a breeze, Jim. Through Gosford, aged the mimic of the cricket. Through the rustling of the leaves, and the ghosts may not scare me. They're welcome within. To share my rye whiskey and watch with me as the rain pours down in the yard. Rain, a most haunting sound. Rain makes beautiful music and rain. Fantastic song. It's, it's nice being able to play quiet, isn't it? I've, isn't it? I've done that song on, underneath televisions and yeah. dartboards when they're watching the rugby in the pub, you know, and then you just... <laughs> Aye, you know, like that's going to be difficult, isn't it? It's such an honour to be able to... Oh, sorry, such no, an honour to be able to sing it. I mean, that's what's great about Jimmy. It goes so quiet and he'll, yeah. go, he'll go in there. Yeah. Right, talk to us a little bit more about your songwriting, because you're an outstanding songwriter as far as I'm concerned. I bought a book about songwriting when I was about 25 because I thought I wasn't a proper one, you know. Really? I suppose from, your, from being from Washington, you never think you're proper in any way. And uh, then when I read about it, I thought, ooh, oh, it's awful. Everything has to rhyme and it's all about network yeah. and then success and all that. And I thought, well, I think songs are like little capsules of love that can be like, and, and they can be fun. They're like your kids, you know, and yeah. they all have different medicine and powers and gifts and they can... They can cheer somebody up, they can save a life, they can yeah. make somebody cry, they can be a vehicle at somebody's wedding. That's so right. when I saw that possibility uh, beyond the ego uh, as a collective thing, uh, that, that really excited us about it. And, uh, yeah. So then I started actually, as you, you would, uh, channel, channeling. Yeah. I like to channel, so I see the music as like a little stream. Uh -huh. And then I see the poetry yeah. and the stream of consciousness is like when you're a kid and you put little petals on the stream and you just what? allow them to be carried by the yeah. music. You know, the first thing I try to do in the mornings is meditate. You know, I mean, it's like yeah. we, we inherit these heads. You know, yeah. we've got our biological computers in here, we've got our brains, and we've got like memory. We've got, you know, the, the worst thing I can do is when I get up in the morning before I do anything, is put the telly on, have a coffee. It's just food for the ego, for the lower self, you know, the thought process. I just see the thought process as bad radio. That's brilliant. 
Well, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have some more coffee. We're going to go to the break. Let them go home and get your cup of teas ready and come back for the second half. Come back, check it out. Cooking in the kitchen. We're going to hear some more from Martin and Jim. I love the songs, love the tunes, and I'm looking forward to the next half. Speak soon. <laughs> 